Andrew, yes. in, in Leicester, first time in Leicester? No, I've been here many times. I've uh, been up at the Leicester Comedy Festival and done gigs at the, the Montfort Uni. So I've come here probably once or, once or twice every six months, so quite regular. So you should get an easy ride from the crowd tonight then? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'm a very bitter man actually, because uh, I'm from Munster. And uh, in 2002 you stole, well you didn't steal, you cheated your way to the Heineken Cup. So delighted to be here and uh, I've just been scratching all the cars in the car park. So, you know, it's been a good start to the evening. Neil Back will get a special mention in your act then, will he? Uh, Neil Back, yeah, he will, yeah. Austin Healy, the whole lot. Uh, yes, he will, yeah. Probably will at the start, but um, I don't want to turn the audience against me, you know, because uh, it's very hard coming here, you know, being so angry over these years. It's 11 years ago, but I still don't sleep. And you'll be back in Leicester for Dave's Comedy Festival later in the year, providing you don't get run out of town tonight? Yes, I'll be back for the Leicester Comedy Festival at Exchange Bar. Uh, last year sold out, so you better get your tickets. I can't remember the actual date, uh, but it's on the website uh, of Leicester Comedy Festival. If just put in Andrew Ryan, uh, and that should come up on Google right next to uh, Heineken Cup 2002. Uh, next to that. So, uh, yeah, so it's nice to be here. I used to go to school with Frank Murphy, who was your scrum after. Yeah. I sat next to, to Frank in uh, Matt's class. Yeah. And uh, I know if, I'm in school with Donald Callahan. So I've got a lot of backup if it kicks off. It's something very different to your normal uh, routine of getting uh, hyped up for a match. How is it, how is it different getting hyped up for a comedy festival tonight? Um, well, I don't, know, I don't know if hyped up is the right word. Um, I'm just trying to sort of keep a little bit calm and make sure I, I, mean, I haven't really got an act written down as such, but um, I've got an idea of what I'm going to go on about. Um, so it's just about making sure I uh, deliver that smoothly. This is part of your warm-up, if you like, your practice run for the Dave's Comedy Festival stand-up challenge next week. Been trying out the material on the guys at uh, Oval Park? Not really. I, they don't really understand comedy. Uh, it's a bit above their heads. Um, most of them are a bit too dull for it, to be honest. Uh, especially my brand of satirical, cutting-edge comedy. Um, no. Tonight, you said you got no routine, but I dare say you've been practising on the guys virtually every day since you arrived at Welford Road. Uh, Julian Salvi probably more than most. Have you used your best lines up yet, or is, it, is there better to come? Well, it's funny, actually. I, I've, I've been sort of weighing up what sort of material to use. I think tonight um, I'll probably use a little bit of rugby stuff because that's what people know, but uh, for the stand-up challenge next week, there's a chance the audience won't really be rugby-related, so um, they'll have to do a bit more routine sort of stand-ups, uh, perhaps sort of uh, topical news. So uh, I can't use some of my best ammunition from Salvi and Morgan and those guys because if I did it in the uh, in the Y, y Theatre next week, there'll be a lot of people saying, "Who the hell is that?" Um, and I'd, I'd bomb before I even had a chance. Uh, she, not my one of my kids, asked her a few years ago. She said, uh, "Mummy, where, where, where do we come from? Where do we come from? Where, where do people come from? Where does the world?" And my wife said to her, "Look, you know, uh, God, God created man, Adam and Eve." The Bible, all that sort of you know crap that uh, some people believe, and you know we we came from there. God created us, made us, made the earth, blah blah. My daughter goes, oh, yeah, that's fine. Comes to me the next day, Daddy, Daddy, wh where do we come from? Where, where did the earth come from? And I said, there oh, are. I you know my theory is, it's not my theory. I don't own the theory, obviously. <coughs> I said to her, look, you know, we we come from monkeys. The, there was a, there was a, a big group of monkeys, a big group of apes. And we, over time, we came from the monkeys, and now we're humans. So my daughter was really confused, and she's gone back to her mum, and she said, Mummy, he said God made us all, made the earth, and all that. But Daddy said uh, we all come from monkeys. What, why is that? Well, I said, no, it's very simple, really. I, I told you how my side of the family was uh, created. <laughs> <laughs> and your father told you how his was. Hi, George. The morning after the night before, you survived, which is the first part of it. How was the stand-up last night? Good fun, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, the crowd were polite and uh, they laughed at the right places. So, no, it was good. It was, uh, the, the other comedians were fan obviously professionals. Uh, they, they, were, they, were, they were pretty good as well. Um, and it was a good night. I think uh, there's been a lot of good feedback. Uh, had a few tweets this morning and, uh, and people shouting at me in the street. Um, I, don't know whether, yeah, I don't know whether they were saying anything nice or not, they were just shouting at me. Um, but no, it went well, I enjoyed it, it was good fun. And it wasn't really a planned routine, it was just whatever came to you at the time, was it? A little, yeah, I mean, I've done a bit of afternoon speaking, and I, I used some of, the, some of my material, I didn't sound like a professional myself, uh, but I did a bit of, bit of stuff off the cuff as well and uh, tried a bit of other stuff that I might be using next week in the, in the festival. So um, yeah, I didn't do too much homework, but uh, to be honest, that's, um, that's the way I roll. 
I've seen the professionals in action on the bill as well. They're so professional, their name goes on the board and yours didn't. Yeah. What did you learn from them? Uh, well, I'm a surprised guest, obviously. It was like, but uh, I don't deserve top billing. Um, I, I think I think what I got out of them was there's, there's such a, a range of uh, variety in performance that to, you, you, I suppose you pick a little bit here and there but I think a lot of them they're, they're all very confident they, they ooze sort of confidence and that immediately gets a crowd on their side and then uh, the way they interacted with the crowd which is not something I was too comf not, not comfortable I didn't really want to go in there and start interacting with the crowd because what happens if I, uh, I meet somebody who's wittier than me uh, but uh, that, I think that, that's and that's what stand up is isn't it? it's, it's not just coming out there with a list of jokes and funny stories you actually oh, what's that hat about you know or where do you come from and stuff like that so I, that, I might I might, uh, I might integrate that into my routine for next week <laughs> he says um, but no it was good it was good to see um, good to see it first hand as well live up close